Chimichurri sauce is an uncooked sauce originally from Argentina and Uruguay. It's mostly enjoyed with steaks, seafood, and chicken. Keep watching because I'm going to be showing you how to make chimichurri sauce and enjoy it with some oven grilled sea bass or oven grilled whole fish. welcome or welcome back to my kitchen lovely people it's your girl claudia here and today we are gonna be doing something amazing scrumptious but different today this amazing sauce is being enjoyed in argentina and uruguay but is mostly enjoyed nowadays all over the world don't go away because i'm going to be showing you how to make this sauce with some oven grilled sea bass with just two ingredients right here we have our sea bass it has been scaled got it washed meanwhile for the chimichurri sauce we have some salt red wine vinegar red and green chili garlic some parsley i'm gonna be adding a little bit of cilantro in there for extra flavor also with some fresh oregano if you don't have fresh oregano you can use the dry oregano so we are going to start now by taking out all the things of the fish and score the fish To season the fish, I'm going to be using some lemon pepper seasoning and some cajun seasoning. The lemon pepper already has a lot of salt. You don't need extra salt because enough is already in there. But if you want extra salt, you can definitely add it. But check the description box because I'm going to drop the detailed ingredients and the measurements in there. Apply oil all over the fish. This is just to give it a crispy outer part of it. This step is optional. I'm just putting some lemon slices in the belly of the fish. I just want the extra juice in there and get some lemon juice all over my fish because um, it's kind of it's kind of a, a lemony oven grilled fish. So this part is just optional. I'm gonna transfer onto my grilling pan here. Right here, my grilling pan is a little bit greasy because I baked some potatoes, which I'm gonna enjoy this meal. So broil 400 degrees Fahrenheit, middle rack of the oven, about five to 10 minutes each side. While the fish is broiling, keep opening the oven to check from time to time. While our fish is broiling, let's get on to make our chimichurri sauce. I'm going to start by deseeding the chilies. Either you cut into two and take out the seeds or what i did today is i froze or i freezed my chilies then took it out from the freezer it like it's gonna give you a very soft texture i'll just press it out and take out all the seeds like this also if you don't want to go through this you can definitely use chili flakes or if you don't mind having the seeds in there you can just use it like that without taking out the seeds 
I'm going to be using my chopper to chop everything into bits. If you have a food processor, you can use it too. Please don't use a blender. If you use a blender, it's going to make it too fine or smooth. You don't need that for your chimichurri sauce. Transfer onto a serving dish, then add in the salt, the red wine vinegar, and the oil. And your chimichurri sauce is ready to go. Yeah, like I said, it's uncooked. And guys, trust me, the red wine vinegar, it just blends out everything. Don't be scared, guys. But this sauce is, is definitely a must try. When I had it first time with steak, I'm like, I'm going to try it with fish. And when I tried it with fish, it was amazing. I decided I was going to share with you guys because I know, you know, I always bring the best, right? This is a channel where everything is the best. So add the red wine vinegar, oil, and salt. so back to our fish oh my goodness it's looking great this fish i'm gonna flip it now this one cooks for about nine minutes so i'm gonna flip the sides and the other side is gonna cook for the same time The fish has been fully cooked. Now let us serve our fish with a chimichurri sauce and some potatoes. I made my oven grilled potatoes off camera because I know it's going to take a long time for one to make two recipes at the same time. But I have a recipe where I made my oven baked potatoes. You can definitely try it out because I'm going to drop the link in the description box. The best part of the video has arrived, the moment of truth. Let's taste everything and see how it looks on the inside. The sauce just blends with the fish, the lemon in the fish, the red wine vinegar in there, the garlic, everything just combined together, just gives it that scrumptious, taste the aroma too is inviting mouth watering everything you ever wondered or thought about a beautiful meal all combined in one plate try this recipe guys This is the end of the recipe for today. Thank you so much for watching. To meet again in my next video, bye for now and keep trusting my recipes.